Hello everyone, uh, this is Jimmy from Mad River Manufacturing. I actually wanted to show you guys um, a few methods I like to do for uh, rigging up a steelhead worm, for drift fishing and for float fishing, and even barber dogging. So typically, um, for drift fishing, uh, I like a threaded, threaded worm. Probably familiar with uh, threading methods, it's pretty similar to most of all the rest of them. Um, I tend to use a little bit bigger hook um, than one might like, uh, personally. I like a uh, um, number one hook for a three inch worm, a uh, one aught hook for a four inch worm, and a two aught and bigger for a six inch worm. So, uh, what I do is, I, I first I prepare my leader. I prefer a snail knot, um, you know, or a bait loop. I don't actually use the bait loop, but I do like the, like the snail that are, that's on the shank of the hook rather than the knot um, tied to the eyelet. Uh, a knot tied to the eyelet tends to uh, um, sit crooked and it'll kind of tweak your hook in a position that I don't like it um, when drift fished, um, when rigged on the, on the pink worm. So first thing is I, uh, I snell my knot. Then actually I use a sequin. I'll grab this one right here. A uh, sequin is threaded on your leader, first thing. You can't forget that. Next step is uh, start threading, threading the worm onto the needle. I, uh, I have a, about a five inch long, uh, it's actually a doll needle. Uh, threading looks, looks like a regular sewing needle, but just longer and it's streamlined. Um, it doesn't have a big eyelet on the back, so it's not going to tear a big hole into your worm. I actually do have the worm rigging kit available. It comes with the with the, with the needle and sequence, and also the directions on how to uh, how to rig the worm properly. So first thing I'll do is I'll start threading my needle <coughs> on my worm, and I'll typically run like on this four-inch worm uh, about a good good inch and a half up from the tip of the tail. So I'll start by uh, threading the worm on there. Just maintain a nice path through the center of the worm. Make sure you don't actually ever go out, stick the needle out of the worm and back into it. Just try to maintain the center. Through the center. If it's a little bit crooked, that's okay. So then I'll push the worm up on the needle, just like that. There's a threaded, threaded worm on the needle. And then I'll take my leader. And I'll run that leader line through the eyelet of the of the needle like that and just pull the leader line up through the worm just pull pull the line all the way to where the hook almost touches the worm I like to have that hook dangling free so there's not so it doesn't sit bent just kind of dangles free just like that so there's there's the uh, there's the rig stealer worm right there and then typically what I'll do you know, when drift fishing is I'll run is what I have here these uh, Hard fish pills, they're basically just like a corky. They're basically what's the inside of a corky without the hard shell. And what this does is it gives that worm a little extra added flotation, it keeps it up into the fish's strike zone, and it gives it an extra color and color contrast. So this here is a uh, is what I, is my nightmare worm. It's like a fluorescent bright red, almost hot pink, uh, with a black tail. So I'll use the, uh, the glow white hard fish pill and I just thread that on my leader all the way down to the worm and just like that I was, I was ready, to, ready to get rigged up and fished and just that white head like I said gives it flotation and uh, color contrast so that's definitely one of my favorite worms to fish right there and uh, a couple of my favorites that I've already rigged up here is uh, the pink or chartreuse tail with the black head great color combination the uh, pink pearl with a uh, chartreuse head, uh, another another wonderful color. And uh, for uh, float fishing, what I'll do is I'll run a, a jig head. You know, painted jig head. I, I usually go with either the white or the black, depending on what color worm I like to fish. I like to fish the white one with the nightmare. <clears throat> and so for rigging that, what I'll do is uh, just start right at the head of the worm and thread that hook just about halfway down the collar of the worm. So there's that little, people call it an egg sack, I call it a collar. Um, it's just a little bare spot about halfway down the worm. So I thread that on there and I'll basically I'll stop right about there. I'm about halfway threaded on and I'll take some super glue. I like the crazy glue, it's got the little brush on it. 
and just tap a little, just a little dab of super glue is all it takes. Just on the shank of the hook, and continue pushing the worm on the shank of the hook right there, just like that. And that uh, that super glue just keeps that worm tight right on the hook, and you can jerk and set. And if you get snagged up, you, you know, typically when you get your hook, you get your hook back, your, your worm will be right there in place, just like that. So there's uh, there's for drift fishing, and I'll usually run like you know two foot leader, um, or excuse me for uh, float fishing, just about two foot leader under a float. Here's another another great worm. I'll break that one up for you real quick with the black head. Run the needle down. Stop right there. Just a little dab of super glue. That's it. This is a great color combination. So that's that for float fishing. And um, you know, sometimes you get lazy, um, and you don't. Uh, you know, sometimes there's a lot of work threading all these worms on there. So I like to do what I call the quick, quick rig. And for the quick rig, if I can find my needle here. Okay, here it is. The uh, again, you know, just the same size hook. I usually typically use a little bigger one. This is a size one, um, and I'll run this one on a four-inch worm. I already got them all rigged up here. Um, so what I'll do is I'll uh, I'll start just like I'm rigging it on the jig head. Um, I'll start right at the nose of the worm. Just work that worm up the shank of the hook about at least halfway through the worm. So this is a four inch worm so I have it about, about two inches down. And I'll just keep pulling that worm all the way up like that so basically it's just the round bend the hook point is exposed just like that and then once I do that I'll actually kind of continue to pull the worm a little bit further so the more the hook shank is exposed and again I'll take my super glue just one little dab of super glue is all it takes and I'll push that worm back down on that hook just like that and that's just one really quick easy method um, typically you know when you do get snagged or you hook to hook a fish that worm will tear off the hook, um, so you have to replace it. But uh, it's just one of those ones when you're on the river, or on the go, you just want something quick and easy, and uh, you know, good good hook hook catch ratio. That's the one. And again, you know, I'll run one of those hard fish pills up above for uh, for a little extra added color and contrast. So there you have it. Those are those are my three three rigs um, that I I use depending on what type of fishing I'm doing. Drift fish. This is great both ways um, for uh, for drift fishing or or uh, or fishing uh, under a float, and then uh, and there's the uh, weighted jig head. All right, there you have it. Thank you very much.